Hey guys, it's Connor here. Welcome back. I hope you're all having a great day so far. It is time for another candle review. If you missed it from earlier, I did a review of Yankee Sweet Vanilla Horchata. I will link that review down below if you want to go back and watch it. But next up to continue on today's candle reviews, we're going to uh, talk about Bath & Body Works candle. Um, there's actually going to be one more review this evening as well, and that will also be a Bath & Body Works candle. Uh, I placed a, well, I didn't place, I actually went in store and picked them up. I went in store and picked up a lot of the new spring one scents for floor set one um, a couple of weeks ago. And so I bur I've been burning them and I'm now ready to kind of get some post burn in depth reviews for you guys up. So uh, that is what we are doing today. I will say the one from, uh, the one that I'll be uploading later is the Brioche French Toast, which that one was actually from Candle Day, I believe. And so um, that one isn't really relevant anymore. I don't even think you can get it, um, unless maybe your store, like, has some random ones in the back, um, and they may, uh, but anyways, I'm still gonna upload it because I'm like, why not? It was pretty popular when it came out, and you never know with Bath & Body Works if they're gonna bring stuff back. Likely chances that they will because they seem to, or even if they don't bring it back under that name, they might repackage it. So it's just good to have the review up. But anyways, to start off, we are actually going to be reviewing a new fragrance. And I'm going to say new in air quotes because I actually think that this one is a repackage of something, which I don't hate because I actually really love the candle that this is a repackage of. But uh, yeah, we're going to kind of talk about all of that in a minute. But what candle are we talking about? We are talking about Hummingbird Tea Cake. So... That is what we're chatting in this video. I was honestly really interested in this fragrance just by seeing the label without even knowing like the notes or anything. I thought, wow, that is interesting because I had actually never heard of a hummingbird cake. So I did my research, I looked it up and I actually found a recipe. And I think what I'm gonna do, I did a few baking videos last year on my channel and I actually have really fun with them. Um, and so what I think I'm going to do, I think I'm going to do another baking video because why not? It's January and I have nothing to do. So I think I'm actually going to bake this cake for you guys and kind of like show you the process while I'm burning the candle and we can continue on my like bake inspired off of candles. And, um, I just think that this looks like a really good recipe. So here it is. Uh, this is a hummingbird cake. Doesn't that look so good? So a hummingbird cake is a cake made with uh, banana and it's also made with pineapple and pecans and it's got a cream cheese frosting. It originated in Jamaica, I believe. Um, sorry, I'm trying to do some research real quick on this one because I had it up and then I lost it. Um, hummingbird cakes, I believe that they were from Jamaica and they are a kind of like a fruit cake almost, I think. Um, but it's made with banana and a cream cheese frosting and pineapple, which is, it sounds odd. It sounds like a lot of different fruits combined, but I actually feel like um, it might be really good. Um, it's named after the island's national bird, the scissors tail hummingbird. Yeah, so it's created in Jamaica. So um, anyways, I feel like this one looks really delicious and I kind of want to make this cake. So I think we might make it together and I'll film myself. So that will probably be up either later this week or maybe next week because I think that that'll be a fun thing to do. Anyways, though, we're going to talk about this candle. Um, this is a really delicious scent. I was very interested in it and it's definitely a good one. So uh, let's get right into the description here. I will link the candle down below, by the way, if you're interested, so you can definitely find it there. As always, wait for a good sale with Bath & Body Works. I always wait for a good sale and then wait for a coupon as well, so you can stack that on top. Um, as far as the label goes on this one, I do really like the label. It's got these really nice like lines on them, and I don't know why just think that's really pretty. It's just kind of like an elevated design. Anyways, uh, let's get into the actual fragrance here. So our description says it smells like a spiced fruity cake that'll make your heart flutter. And your fragrance notes are pineapple cake batter, cinnamon spice, and toasted pecans. And I do apologize. I think the yarn people just got here. So if you can hear that, I hope you don't. But anyways, so the fragrance, this to me definitely smells like a really delicious cake fragrance. 
I will say the one note that I was really nervous about when I read the notes on here was obviously the pineapple. I'm sure you guys guessed it. If you watch my channel, you know I'm not a huge pineapple person in home fragrance. I honestly don't even really like pineapple in real life. It's just not really my favorite fruit. Um, for me, it's just a little bit too acidic and I just don't love the taste. Um, but what, uh, what pineapple do I get in here? I actually don't really get any pineapple at all. I don't feel like this has much pineapple to it. And maybe it's just my nose not thinking of it, but I just really don't smell pineapple in here, which I'm obviously really happy about because I just don't really love the smell in home fragrance. It just comes off a little too artificial to me. But I actually don't pick it up in here, so that's really great. So I don't really have to worry about the pineapple in here. Um, I definitely get some cinnamon spice to this one. It's got a little bit of spiciness to it for sure. Um, not overly done, but it's just like a little bit of spice. Kind of like a carrot cake spice. And you'll see why I'm saying carrot cake in a minute when I talk about the dupe of this candle. But um, I definitely get a little bit of spice in here. And then I definitely kind of get a pecan note. I think it's just like a little bit of nuttiness on the top. And I love pecan fragrances. I've actually been burning Hallmark's Praline Pecan. And I've been burning that one with this one in the other room. They make a really good blend. Um, I know that that candle is a fall scent. But it's actually really delicious uh, right now in January. And uh, these two actually work really well together. Anyways, I definitely get a little bit of a pecan note in here. And then there is one more note that is not mentioned in here, but I definitely pick it up, and that is banana. I feel like there's definitely a banana note in here as well. Um, I don't know why maybe they just didn't put banana in the notes instead of cake batter, or sorry, instead of pineapple, because I definitely don't pick up pineapple as much as I do banana. Um, the banana in here is a very ripe banana, kind of like the bananas that you use when you're making a banana bread. They're very ripe. They're almost to the point where they're like brown. They're just very, very ripe. And that's what I smell in here. They're really sweet and they're just very like soft and ripe and really delicious. And I actually really love how they mix with the cinnamon spice and the toasted pecans. It's a really nice blend. And then I definitely get a cake batter in here. I get like, it's just, it's kind of weird. Like it really smells like a battery cake note. It just kind of smells like that wet cake batter. And I know that sounds weird, but like I really pick up a cake batter note in here and it actually smells really good. So I'm a big fan of this fragrance, but what do I think it reminds me of? It reminds me quite a lot of the sweet carrot cake from the Easter collection. And I'm not really mad at that because I actually love that scent. Um, I am a really big fan of that one. I remember when it came out first in the single wick and people loved it. And then the next year they brought it out in a three wick. And um, yeah, that is what I think the scent is. I don't have any backups, so I can't really compare it. So I can't tell you if it's like a dead on dupe, but for me, they're quite similar just from my remembrance of that one. Um, it just is very similar in the way that it's kind of like a cake scent with a little bit of spice and a little bit of like a pecan note in here. I would say the only thing is this one definitely has addition of that banana in here. But I mean, other than that, they're pretty similar in my opinion. Um, again, I'm not mad at that. I know some people get really upset with repackages, um, but to me, I love that fragrance and um, I, I'm not sure if they're going to bring it back again this year. I hope they do, but if they don't, then I'll be happy that they have this one in the lineup. So personally, I'm quite happy with it and um, I'm just a really big fan of this scent. So if you love gourmand fragrances and you really like that sweet carrot cake and you like a little bit of banana as well, then I think that you are going to be a big fan of this one. And I would highly recommend checking it out. Even if you can just get in your stores inside and smell this one on cold, I think it's a really delicious fragrance. And if you've ever had a hummingbird cake, let me know down below in the comments. Um, and by the way, it says hummingbird tea cake. I don't really get any tea to this one. Um, I think that they just added the tea in for the title. It's not even in the notes either. So I wouldn't really worry about the tea note. But um, yeah, that's what I smell in this candle. Let's talk about performance on this one. So the burn is kind of doing what most Bath & Body Works candles do for me. And I'll go ahead and give you guys an overhead view. Here's what the burn is doing. Um, it's just a little bit murky. I don't know if you can really tell that well with the camera, but it's definitely kind of burning dirty. Um, I am about at the halfway point now. I've been burning this honestly just for the past couple of days and I'm already at the halfway point because I'm just a big fan of this one. Let me raise you guys up a little bit. Uh, there we go. 
I'm, I'm uh, definitely getting that like normal Bath and Body Works burn here where it's just getting a little bit murky in the wax. There's no sootiness really, but it's just getting that discoloration in the wax. Um, it's not really changing the fragrance or anything quite yet, so um, I don't really have to worry about that, but it's definitely just getting a little bit dirty. Um, I do normally with Bath and Body Works candles get to the Puny Wicks for the midway point, so I wouldn't be surprised if that happens with this one. I'll definitely update you guys on Saturday in the weekly wax chat and kind of let you guys know how the burn is going. I'm hoping by then I'll be more towards the bottom or even maybe even finish with the candle um, so I can give you guys some final thoughts on this one. But um, so far, it's actually doing okay, other than that dirtiness. Um, I'm just crossing my fingers that this one maybe is a miracle and doesn't get the puny wicks like it normally does, because that just kind of impacts everything. It impacts the burn, it impacts the scent, the strength and throw. So I'm hoping it doesn't get those puny wicks, but with the track record of most Bath & Body Works candles, it's probably going to. But Anyways, that is my thoughts on the burn. Um, strength and throw on this one, for me, this kind of performs right around the normal Bath & Body Works uh, strength and throw, which is kind of around like an eight to a nine for me. Um, I would say a nine if I have this one in a hurricane. The hurricanes definitely help to improve the strength and throw. And if you don't know what a hurricane is, I do have a whole video on that and I will link it down below so you guys can um, check that out. And um, in that video, you will find out where you can get a hurricane, why would you need one and all of the stuff about hurricanes. But um, as far as the strength and throw goes for this one, it's really great. I'm getting a nice strength and throw out of this one. Um, I wouldn't say it fills the entire downstairs, but I would say it gets pretty close. Um, I always say I don't really need a candle to fill the entire downstairs because I'm always burning around like at least two candles, either two or three normally. And then I also have my warmers on. So I always have different like types of fragrance going around the house. So I don't necessarily need one candle to fill up the entire house and so for this one it's not really doing that necessarily but I don't really need it to but it is a filling a good majority of the downstairs up. Um, if I put it in the kitchen it's definitely filling up the entire kitchen, the entire living room which the living room and the kitchen are connected and it's also kind of traveling out here into the hallway a little bit so it's got a really nice strength and throw um, and I'm really happy with it. So. I'm really happy with this candle overall. I think it's a really delicious scent. Um, I'm very interested in hummingbird cakes. I really do want to make one. I'm very excited. So I think I might actually do that today. And I do kind of want to film the process and then I'll, I'll definitely upload this video for, um, for you guys to see while I'm burning the candle. So let me know if you guys have tried hummingbird tea cake from Bath & Body Works yet. I would love to hear everybody's thoughts. Um, and maybe you've had hummingbird cake before or you're from Jamaica where this originated. If you know any fun facts about the cake, uh, definitely let us know down below in the comments. But um, thank you guys so much for watching. Again, make sure you uh, check out the reviews from earlier. I will put all of that and more in the description box. But thank you so much for watching. Please like if you enjoyed, subscribe if you're new here, and stay tuned. I do have one more review coming up a little bit later today, and I'll see you guys then. Bye.